All right, welcome back. This video is gonna be all about this trailer. I usually store it at a different location, only use it a few times a year for the cart or people borrow it to help themselves move. Uh, I used it a couple times to pick up vehicles that weren't running. Um, you, would, you know, a kid broke down or something. Rather than call a tow truck, go get my trailer and go pick the kid up, bring it back home and fix it. So um, I have a number of upgrades that I've been wanting to do to this trailer. So we're going to get into that and I'm trying to get it all done because in a couple months here, I plan to take the cart down to Tail of the Dragon. Never been on anything and uh, know a lot of people that have been and all the reports are good as well as the videos I watch online. Looking forward to getting to the Tail of the Dragon and doing some of the roads around there. Uh, but I want to get this thing in tip top shape with the upgrades that I want to do to it so that uh, I can enjoy the trip. So let's dive into it. Just a little bit on the trailer. Uh, it is a Stealth Titan 20 foot with uh, Vinos at the front. And uh, it's got E-Track on the bottom, which is great for towing cars. And uh, uh, some really bad lighting inside. So that's one of the things we're gonna hit on the upgrade. Uh, but it's uh, it's been a good trailer for the last few years. But it's time to get it into shape the way I want it because it is it is the way I bought it right now. First thing I'm going to upgrade is the lights. There's a switch on this trailer and it came with this singular uh, light that is pretty poor and does not put out a ton of light. So I picked these up on Amazon. I will throw a link in the description. Um, they're LED strips that'll work on 12 volts and uh, we're gonna throw them up here in various spots in the roof and should improve the lighting situation quite a bit all right this kit comes with these clips uh, these are self tappers that I provided myself they didn't come in the kit and then these lights basically just snap in and it's nice and secure so we will add Three more up that way. See, my son's helping me. And then we'll get it wired in. Those are installed. It's really hard to tell a difference in the daylight, but that single light was abysmal at night. It barely lit anything. So uh, we'll test it when it gets dark this evening, but it should be a huge difference. On to the next thing. The next thing I want to tackle is just rust around these shackles. The two in the back are kind of rusty. The ones up front aren't bad, but this is what gets wet when a car pulls in. And then just kind of general rust along the edge. So I'm gonna clean it up a little bit and throw some rust reformer on there. Should be nice and protected now. The next thing I want to tackle is a set of shelves up here, um, really just up in the V. So I'm going to go from this corner here all the way over to this corner, just make it flat. Uh, I've got a toolbox that I want to shove up here. Um, probably thinking like a shelf right around this height and then uh, a middle shelf and then obviously the floor. Um, so we'll just build this out of two by fours and wood and uh, probably put a lip on it so stuff doesn't roll off when I'm driving around. Little progress update. I have the structure for the lower done. Uh, the beam across the front is cut but not in there yet. And then the top structure is all completely built. I need some like, I don't know what they're called but they're metal tie plates uh, because this corner is going to sit on top there and over here that corner on top so i need kind of those metal plates to sandwich the two together so they hold together and then the same metal plate for the front of this front beam and then i've got to cut that middle post there so that it'll all just kind of sandwich together on the shelf and then we should be good. 
I need to run to the hardware store because I don't have those metal plates and I also don't have the plywood to actually put on the shelves. So, but I'm going to finish building as much structure as I can and then run to the hardware store and get that plywood. All right. It's about 7.30 in the evening. I've been at this all day. The light outside is ah, starting to get dim. It's not dark yet. I need to cut that last piece. I did, as you can see, went to the hardware store and bought some plywood. So I need to cut that last piece, screw it in, and then we should largely be done. And I can show you this finished product and probably by the time I'm done, uh, I can show you the lights that we put in earlier. All right, it's not completely dark outside, but the sun is definitely over the horizon and there's not a lot of light left here, so. And that's what the lights look like when they're on. Still got a mess in here that I need to clean up. And this is all in and mostly done. I need to make some sort of lip on this. So if I put tools down, they don't like roll off while I'm driving if I leave some tools there. So I wanna put a lip on here of some sort, but I've got it braced in on both sides and attached down at the bottom. So it's pretty secure to the to the trailer. It's not moving. So I'm going to go in and rest a bit. And then tomorrow we'll be back at it on the trailer. It's a beautiful, fresh morning. And I am getting it back at it out here on the trailer. The first thing I'm going to tackle is a winch. Let me show you what I'm working with. Before I had this trailer, I uh, had an open, I think it was a 16 foot open trailer. And I had welded up this contraption. This uh, was one of my first real welding projects. And I don't think I even have gas welder at that point. It was just flux core. So the welds are not pretty, but it was functional. Uh, there's a battery in here and then a little solar panel to keep the battery topped off when I wasn't using the trailer and then winched and it was just kind of a freestanding deal and it always worked. It was a, I'm pretty, I haven't need to open that, but I'm pretty sure it's a deep cycle battery. So, uh, this has just been sitting in this trailer for a couple years since I bought the closed trailer and I haven't mounted it. So we're going to get the winch mounted up there into the front and the battery in here somewhere and then put that solar panel outside so it stays topped off. And then we should have a winch when we want to. I might, probably not in this video, but I might look at in the future hooking this to the trailer so that when it is plugged in, this battery gets topped off. Uh, but I don't want to drain the truck battery too much either. So uh, I'll look into a solution there. But for right now, we're just going to get this mounted and functional. Taking a look at under the trailer, uh, we've got the um, jack, trailer jack stand, and then um, here's the point of the nose. So up underneath, this is the center spine that runs down the length of the trailer. And we are right, that mount bitch is gonna get mounted right about here, but I don't wanna mount it to the wood, that's just gonna pull out. So, um, grabbed some scrap metal I have around. Um, this actually was a piece of tube, like this, I just cut. And um, so now I've got a couple of flanges. This is a little over two inches wide here. And then I should be able to, mount that up like that, basically. Um, bolt these through, the other one's gonna go on the other side. Bolt these through this center tube, sandwich the tube together between these flanges, and then the bolt for the winch should come through and bolt to the metal flange, so that'll keep it from ripping up the floor 
keep everything nice and secure and be able to pull a couple thousand pound car onto the trailer with the winch. Need to get these painted up. I just got them cut and sanded down with, there's a little bit of rust on them. So I took that rust scale off. So I need to get them painted. I'm probably gonna prep this cause it's got a little bit of rust on it too before I put the flanges up there. So we'll pick a spot right in here. I need to measure some th stuff out and bolt those in. While I'm working on this winch, I am going to replace this wire rope with this nylon one I picked up from Amazon. I forget what it's rated for, but I remember because I bought it like a year ago, but uh, I remember making sure it was rated for enough for cars. Um, this, I'll, I'll never buy another winch with this wire rope in it. Like it just tears your hand up um, and it develops all these little splinters that just continually poke your hand and it's terrible. That's why I'm wearing this glove right now. So I've never re-spooled one of these. So I'm gonna figure it out, but I'm gonna pull that apart and get this spooled on. Um, and before we go ahead and mount it up underneath there. The winch is now mounted and everything is wired up. I've got the relay tucked up underneath there. I need to uh, let that battery charge. It is right at like 10 and a half volts, which is surprising because it hasn't been used for a couple years and it's been sitting inside this trailer with no sunlight on that solar charger. So I'm kind of surprised it even had that much. I was expecting something closer to zero, but 10 and a half. So I'll have to wait for that to charge, hopefully tomorrow, because the sun is going down now. Um, and then I can reel this uh, nylon in. And then over here, I mounted that solar charger. It's a little trickle charger, but it's always been enough to keep that battery topped off. I mounted it here so it'll get sun. Um, if I were gonna do this again, I'd probably mount that at an angle uh, just to help it stay clean, but I think it'll be fine there. I'll just have to wipe it off occasionally, but that's not a big deal. So I've got a toolbox mounted in here. This was one I really wasn't using in the garage since I added another toolbox a few months ago. Um, this thing has, I don't know how old it is. It, my, it was my dad's and I can remember it as a kid. I think there was a label here. I think it was a Craftsman, but I have no idea, but it's, it's held up really well. I have it bolted down with some strips of aluminum uh, just to kind of give it some stability. There's one on the bottom of this OSB as well. So I'll slide these last two drawers in and then um, it's got this T-shape to lock all the drawers in place. So these will be secure when driving down the road. And then it also still has the original keys, so it locks. So I'll slide these other drawers in and then um, we should be good to go on tools. I really won't keep tools in the trailer because I don't have um, enough tools to really split between a trailer set and a, a garage set. And I don't use this trailer that often, so I'll just stock this when it's time for a road trip. This thing's been sitting on my shelf for probably two years, waiting to get used, and I actually blame it for this whole project. I bought this as a simple shelf just to throw some stuff on and a towel uh, to put in this trailer soon after I got the trailer and uh, never got around to putting it on until now. And by the time I got around to putting it on, it had snowballed into this giant project with lots of other stuff. Mm -hmm. So it's all this shelf's fault, but at least it's finally up. I know it's probably a little underkill now that I got all of this over here, but uh, it'll at least do a, a serve as a towel holder in the trailer. All right, that's gonna do it for this one couple hard days of working on the trailer but it's really situated much better for taking the cart out on some road trips. I was kind of looking at 
some other things I could do now that this trailer is going to be done. Take the cart to a couple different places, maybe an LS vest somewhere or something. I don't know, uh, but it's definitely situated now for some road trips. So I'm happy with that. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you want, and I'll see you on the next one.